three coins in a fountain, each one seeking happiness. Oh, hey, how you doing? Nope, my name's not Frank. I'm the lawnmower lady, and I like fixing small engines. Today's video, I've got three backpack blowers. I got a Red Max EB4401, a Husqvarna 150BT, and a steel BR420C Magnum. The guy that owns these tends to buy a lot of pro gear, but he's not a real pro at taking care of his equipment. He wants me to figure out which two of these three he can get fixed up for his sons. His sons do a little summer lawn mowing and blowing business, and I'll show you which two I think he should sink some coin in. Follow along. Giving these just the quick once over, this steel came to me with cap off, and it looks to me that the inside of the spark plug is gone. Might have to be a new coil. I don't know if I can replace that. It's pretty filthy, a lot of oil dripping all over it. It's a 57 cc unit, and unfortunately the elbow on this has got a big old tear. I'm not even sure it would be worth trying to replace parts like that. This is already looking bad. There oddly is a lot of oil all over here. Get the ignition switch on. And the throttle feels like it's doing something. Onto this Husqvarna. Blower tube is in a lot better shape. However, there should be a little collar on there that would allow this to lock down. So, and that is molded onto part of the handle. So that could be a pricey fix. I don't know. Although it looks like it's better taken care of. I think it's just younger. I think this was made in... 2012 and it is a 50 cc unit everything about this one just seems in a little better shape than the other one even though it might have as much wear and tear as the steel it's just not as old and lastly this red max it appears to be the oldest of them manufactured in 2006 and it's also the lightest weight it's only 41 cc's this carburetor manifold is either broken or not tightened on. I'll have to get in there to see if it's actually broken or just loose. Spark plug boot is torn. The Red Max seems to be the oldest and the lightest power. The Husqvarna seems to be the newest and the steel seems to be the most abused. I think a quick spark and compression test will help determine which of these three to throw some coin at. Now this steel is pretty, I've seen some better days. There's, like I said, no cap in there. Pull this spark plug and see how that looks. And uh, I mean, despite its charred up look, it's got a nice chocolatey brown color. So I guess when it was running, it was running, if anything, a little rich. All right, so I've stuck a safety pin into the end of this and there is, I'm not sure that you can see that, but there's a very, very weak amount of spark. little orangish spark. And um, so far, not so good. I have a boroscope I'm going to stick down in there. And hopefully I'll be able to get some footage off of here. And as you can see, that was the top of the piston just went down there. And now I'm looking at the exhaust port. And, you know, on the sidewalls, I don't see a lot. There's a lot of crud on top of the piston. Um, that's the exhaust. But the sidewalls really don't look that bad to me. Plug in a compression tester. Screw that in. No tools required, just get it snug, and I'm going to yank on this thing until the needle stops moving. It's fighting me pretty good. So far we're up to just over a hundred.
about 125. And I think it's settled at about 125. And checking inside the fuel tank, there is fuel. Doesn't smell so bad. And snag out the fuel filter. Which, um, I've seen worse. Doesn't mean anything. The fuel line is not cracked, so it feels all right. Maybe just a new fuel filter. It's a very temporary solution. I got a spark plug cap that normally goes on my scooters. I'm gonna see if there's any life in this thing. Choke. Wow, that's a shocker. I am amazed. In the smallest amount of throttle kills it. Lots of smoke. I am gobsmacked that this thing actually starts and runs. Hey, bunny rabbit in my backyard. Hey. All right, gonna check the spark plug on this Husk Barna. There we go. And this spark plug honestly doesn't look too bad. There's not a lot of soot buildup on it. It's a nice sort of chocolatey brown color. I would almost say it's running a bit rich. Uh, but I don't think my boroscope will fit into that uh, 11 millimeter threaded hole. All right, I'm gonna put our spark tester in here and find a metal part of the engine. I managed to find, you get the spark plug tester onto the muffler and hopefully, a little piece of inner tube behind there, you'll be able to see some spark happening. So far, I hear something, but I sure don't see any spark. All right, I'm using a different style of spark tester. I have a longer lead on it, and it's actually to the engine. So it could be I just didn't have a good spot there. On the muffler, here we go. I can both hear and see that spark. Okay, and most... Most uh, compression testers come with a set of adapters, so we'll need to add that adapter on there, check that O-ring, and then thread this in. Again, by hand. Don't want to cross-thread that. And finger tight. Plug our gauge back on. Zero out. Give this several pulls, see where we go. We're at, I'm at four or five pulls here and I'm already up to 120. It's yanking all over the table for sure. One twenty is okay. Not as good as the steel, but it's enough to get it started. Quick check of the fuel tank. No stringy thing, it might be stuck in there. Yeah, there is the stringy thing. And um, 
This is a wool filter. I would definitely replace that, but let's give it a whirl and see what happens. All right, choke on. Not even hearing much of anything there. Let me turn the choke off. Might just be flooded. There we go. I smell a lot of gas, so I just locked the throttle open and hopefully. There we go. I just think it's flooded. It wants to run. Either fuel filter or carburetor needs to happen. And on to this Red Max. It is the eldest one of the bunch. And uh, I'm not even going to try to start it, but I can check the plug, check for spark, check the compression. There is some stuff floating in there. It's got the same sort of wool filter. This looks even more gagged up than the Hus Husqvarna. The throttle is very stiff. I'm having trouble determining if anything is happening at the carburetor. The kill switch seems to be a momentary type of kill switch. It's a little torn up spark plug boot, huh? And a very, very old spark plug. And um, a very sooty spark plug, but nice chocolate brown. Got a little piece of a inner tube behind there. Spark tester on. Oh yeah, that's the healthiest spark I've seen of all of these. Compression tester on there. Wow, six pulls. And I'm already up to 170 PSI. Good gracious. A few more yanks and we're up to 180. This, although it's the smallest and the oldest, has the best compression. So I went ahead and pulled off the carb box. It's got this little screen in here. Filter is very, very dirty. But unfortunately, these screws are tight. So whatever is going on here, I believe is to do with the manifold. That's the top of the um, cylinder head. Down the cylinder walls actually looks pretty good. That is the exhaust port right there. Um, the top of the piston, you know, doesn't really look as bad. That's a transfer port. Uh, that's the exhaust port. That is a another transfer port right there. And it really honestly doesn't look so bad. The top of the piston is not nearly as gagged up as that steel is. All right, miraculously, uh, I did not tear up any of these gaskets and merely tightening down the screws on that block took care of getting this carburetor back on. So let's give this a whirl. I'll choke on. Whoa! a miracle in my book. Decisions, decisions. The steel, it's been road hard and put up wet. The Husqvarna, it's the teenager of the bunch. And that Red Max, 
180 PSI. That's crazy. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to tell the owner what his choices are, give him the facts, and let him decide. If you like the video, push the like button. Helps the channel out a whole lot. In the meantime, watch this video right here. I had three lawnmowers I had to make a decision about. Remember, I'm the lawnmower lady, and as I like to say, mo happy. Oh, wait, blow happy. Thanks for watching.